Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping. Tactical Nut here with another flashlight review for you. Alright, now I saw this one a long time ago and I kept forgetting to buy it. So about a month ago, I finally ran across it again, jumped on it, and I'll tell you what, I've been extremely happy with this. Um, man, like I said, it's only been about a month, but I'll tell you, this Nightcore tube, right? Awesome, awesome little EDC light. Uh, now the thing about this, not a lot of bells and whistles, it's just a good, what I would consider EDC keychain light, um, easy to hook to a pack, you got your little split ring here, um, and more importantly, rechargeable. If I don't have to buy batteries, I am happy, right? <laughs> That's just, it goes really well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll read off the details off of this for you because it'll make it a little bit easier. Um, has two modes, low, which is one lumen, high, which is 45 lumens. Um, on high, you'll get an hour on the 45 lumens and you will get 48 hours on the one lumen. Um, now why would you only want one lumen? Well, if you're in the woods, around your house, anything like that, and you need to read something but you really don't want to blow out your night vision, Having the one lumen will make it so you could read a map, um, you could even probably read a book, you know, anything like that while you're out camping, hiking. Um, if you're in your car, you're driving, you got the passenger who wants to look at something, see where you're going or do whatever, perfect for that. Um, the 45 lumens, for most EDC tasks, it's perfect, everything what you need. Getting your keys out, trying to get to your car, seeing the locks, seeing the front door. Um, looking around your house under in stuff you know and then of course in the woods 45 lumens when you're outside at night and it's really dark 45 lumens is actually pretty bright so you can still do a lot of you know minor tasks and stuff like that with 45 lumens um, now it is impact resistant to one and a half meters and IP 65 as far as water resistance so dust and water resistant um, and extremely easy to use. I mean, you're going to have one lumen. Then you got the 45, which I know it's, it's daytime. It's going to be hard to tell. But one of the cool things is when you start, there you go, 45. There's your 45. Now, if you're just in the one lumen mode, you hold it down. It will slowly build up till it gets to the 45. So you can actually stop kind of in there and get an in-between lumen if you wanted or an in-between level of brightness um, now they have different colors for this I went with black um, they do have one that I'm actually thinking about getting that's mostly clear and the reason for me thinking that is because it's so bright alright when I'm walking around using this this part right here starts to become like a little flood because the light comes out this way and according to the pictures on the website and stuff like that, the one that is clear, this whole thing, almost the whole flashlight itself lights up. So it's almost like a little lamp. Um, these are really inexpensive too. And it's by Nikkor. I mean, we all know Nikkor as far as flashlights goes. They make some excellent stuff. I got mine on Gearbest. Normally it was just under $10. I think I got it for, it was on sale for like 15% off. So I got it like for $7.50. I mean, you can't beat that at all. And Gearbest, they have some really good gear, some really good prices. They do have some cheap stuff on there. But almost everything shipping's free. And, you know, I'm impressed with that. Which, you know, if I don't have to pay shipping, yay, that's just more money for more gear. Uh, as you can see, this little piece of where's the light? plastic right here, or rubber, comes out. And that's where it's going to recharge from. Now, the type of charger you're going to need is a micro USB which does not come in it just so you know now for me it didn't matter I have a Samsung Galaxy S5 and that's the kind of charger that it takes so it was no big deal um, but in case you don't have one if you only have an iPhone and you don't have any other kind of chargers you are going to have to find a micro USB charger um, but it does charge pretty quickly and uh, it does have a little blue light on it to show you that it's charging. It goes out when it's done. And if I'm not mistaken, it only took like an hour to recharge. Let me see if it has on here. 
No, it doesn't tell you how long it'll take to recharge, but if I'm not mistaken, it took me about, it took like an hour. So, not a bad recharging time. Um, now, I was keeping this on my keychain, and I always have a carabiner I keep my keys on, it sits in, and I tuck it into my back pocket. Um, the only problem I was having with this was I kept sitting on it and turning it on, so when I pull out my pocket, it was dead. Uh, so now, I've attached it to a different part of my keychain, so now I actually get the full use out of this and can use it for a long period of time uh, without having to worry about it, you know, pulling out my pocket and being dead. So hopefully, you know, just a little data point for yourself. If you're all going to have it in your pocket, well, especially your back pocket, then you're going to have to realize there's a good chance you're going to sit on it and activate it and run your battery dead. But easily solved by kicking, putting it in the front pocket, cargo pocket, you know, or higher up on the key carabiner where it hooks to your belt. Okay, guys. The Nikkor tube, yes, highly recommended. Very inexpensive, and it's just an all-around great light. Okay, guys, hope this helps you in purchasing a new EDC light. You know, it's extremely light. You won't even know you have it. We should have the weight on there, but I mean, I'm talking about maybe an ounce and a half tops. So, love it. Love it. Buy one. Actually, buy a couple because you can put them in a couple different places. At you know between 750 and 950. I mean, you're not going to break the bank, and you can give them out as gifts or I don't know, put them in a bag, survival bag, bug out bag, glove compartment, kids' toys, <laughs> whatever. You know, you know what I'm getting at. All right. In the meantime, be prepared. Have fun.